Now, at some point in life, I th I've got to think that you began to think, I am a leader. I've got these capabilities. I've got this perseverance. When did that happen to you? There wasn't any point that it occurred. I, I don't mean that a light bulb went off yeah. and you said, hey, I'm a leader. But at some point, you've got to realize that you have these capabilities. You have the perseverance, the drive. Uh, you've got the skills. You've got the training. At some point, it has to all have come together. Well, I, I don't want to resist the question because it's like these things happen. Uh, just as I ticked off these events that were turning points mm. that could have changed uh, my ultimate career, uh, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not egotistical. I always felt I had leadership qualities. Okay. Uh, not mammoth leadership qualities, but it, it never bothered me uh, uh, from the time I was in high school and, and these things, you begin to think about these mm -hmm. things, it seemed to me that I did. Uh, uh, it reminds me of uh, the story they tell of Dennis Archer, and I tell this in kindness because Dennis is a good friend of mine, is that Dennis uh, came in a room where uh, there were leaders, and, and Dennis said, you know, I want to be somebody. I want. I want to. I want to. I want to do something. I, I. I can do this. And he was a little young, skinny kid. And they said, "Please." Uh, and by analogy, Dennis wanted to do something. He was. He was determined. Uh, uh, it was his wife that talked him into going to law school. He was a school teacher and so mm -hmm. was she. She became a lawyer and she wanted him to go. And he said, oh, okay, I'll go to Detroit College of Law at nights. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know where this is going. Uh, but there was that spark. To me, that story illustrates Dennis and, and it seemed to me that uh, we could, we could we could do something. I, I felt I could do something. I didn't know what. Mm -hmm. uh, and I never, I never uh, was afraid of, uh, of uh, stepping into the fray. Uh, I believed in the cause. I, I never really wanted to be a wealthy person. I was far more interested in, and I was a history major too, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Professor Kelly, the the chairman of the history department of Wayne University was one of the consultants on Brown versus Alfred the Board. Kelly. Al Kelly. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you, you remember his name because he was a, a very uh, he was he, I, I was very struck by the fact that history and, and we get into this uh, does the incident create the leader or does the leader come forward and take advantage of the circumstance? Right. And frequently, uh, it's a little bit of both, it mm -hmm. seems to me.